Welcome back, Agents of Infinity, to another episode of It's Nothing Personal, the podcast where I attempt to turn random conversations with strangers into moments of extraordinary vulnerability, insight, and connection. I am your host, Mason Roban. This is episode two of the Blitz I am doing this week, since I got five new episodes last weekend. Um... Yeah, one of the things I've I've been noticing after giving myself this task is how much work I have to do on keeping my commitments to myself and building discipline around that. I do a great job of getting distracted, getting sidetracked, and um, yeah, I don't really know a lot of the time why I put things off. Um, as you will see in this episode... I, I actually tend to enjoy a lot of the things I do more than the idea of doing them. And so I think I think a lot of what keeps me trapped in this in this cycle of procrastination and putting things off is uh, that rather than rather than being present in the moment of what I'm doing, I I project myself into the future and that produces an anxiety response but that's enough about that here's more about this episode after giving this guy a hard time about living halfway across the city i reined in my ego a bit so we could have a vulnerable conversation together i begin by expressing to him how generally unexcitable i've become in my life This trails into a conversation about external validation, the false stories we tell ourselves, becoming risk-averse, late 90s and early 2000s television, censorship, the terrifying impact poorly managed media consumption may be having on the minds of our children, and eventually circles back around to how our confidence showing up authentically in the world is connected to our tendency to project our fears and assumptions onto situations and relationships. This entire episode is actually a great follow-up to the one I posted yesterday, where the sociologic idea of the looking-glass self was brought up in conversation. It's kind of crazy how so many things recently seem to be lining up in strange ways. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. I just I just dropped them off. Yeah, I just no, dropped no, some people off right there. Awesome. What a th- God, we're going to Aurora? Come on, man. What are you doing out in Aurora? That's where I live, man. Damn, bro. Oh, why, do you, <laughs> why do you live out of Aurora, dude? Shit. It's cheaper over there, man. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. No, it's early enough that it doesn't really matter. But <laughs> if this was around, if this was like midnight, 1230, I'd be like, sorry, buddy, you gotta get yeah, out. Yeah, no, that makes like, sense. No, I'm kidding. I, would, yeah. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Only if you were an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm... <laughs> no, no, not yet. You're doing fine. You're doing yeah, fine, man. You're nailing it so yeah. far. <laughs> <laughs> and that's three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> been in here. How's it been for you, though? Ah, it's been pretty all right, dude. It's like chill vibes, just cruising around, you know, making good time on uh, my trip count. So that's good. I actually started on time today. Well, a little bit early, but I started late yesterday. So it's kind of just playing catch up. Yeah, gotcha. But yeah, it'll be good. By the end of the night, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be in a good spot. We'll be in a good spot. <clears throat> Shit, what about you, bro? What, what have you been up to? Are you working? Or are you yeah, just, I just got off work. Yeah, I just uh, serving over there at the sports bar. It's been dead the last couple of uh, couple of days. Last, let's be honest, week and a half. Well, I mean, you had the so, Packers and 49ers game play, right? Yeah, 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 that was just on. Um, Pick up a little bit. There or? was uh, the Ravens playing. You don't even have to pay attention, but the Ravens are playing. Which is funny, I work at a sports bar, and I don't even follow sports. Oh, but, but I, yeah, those motherfuckers were crazy. I've never seen the fans. You mean? Oh yeah, 
Mm-hmm. People saying that on tables and shit. It's like it's speaking a, of crazy. Can I hit my vape? Yeah, no, go for it. No, you're All totally right. fine. All right. As long as I can do the same. Sorry, no, I, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not. Don't don't you dare. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, they were they were having. Um. I like I said, don't follow sports that much, but I enjoyed watching them watch the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. which it, that was that was fun for me. I'm like, they brought the energy for you. They really did. They really did. Uh, Shit, I need to I need to try to be that type of person, man. Not not specifically surrounding sports, but you know, I'm like, I've been realizing recently. I said this to my roommate earlier. I was like, you know, I just like nothing fucking it excites me. Nothing fucking excites me ever. You know, except for like positive attention from females. Well, I mean that it's excites like, everyone. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe but not like, everyone, but yes, what I'm I, saying, I, like, I it, in the absence of that, nothing fucking excites me. Mm. Where it's yeah, it's just it's the weirdest thing, and it's like it's kind of fucking depressing. Where I'm just like, yeah. I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't you really know, know. What I, mean? I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, like shit. Oh, I'm, not, like, I'm not looking for advice. I'm just no, no. I'm just saying I it's a weird more, thing. You, you made me think like what excites me. Like, you know, I'm trying to like honestly, I like cooking. Um, you know, and also I think that does kind of go back to uh, positive reinforcement, reinforcement from others. So if I make a good meal and I can give it to you know a friend or family or whatever. Um, well, we like being appreciated. Uh, exactly, we yeah, like yeah. being so appreciated. Maybe you know? I, that, and then also, like when you really do crush it and you know it's good, you're like, all right, oh, oh yeah, like, yeah, like this shit is banging, so, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, like okay, so that's that, it's that, a little that's fun. I, I'm taking know? a stretch to say absolutely nothing excites me. That's a lie. That's a lie. Yeah. All right, that's a lie that I made up in my head. That's yeah. absolutely not true. But it's a powerful lie, right? Because like if you t- if you tell yourself that and you believe that you meaning me right if I tell that to myself and I believe it well then I just become less excitable and for what you know yeah it's like but to to be honest like yes I do enjoy cooking a good meal and it comes out great and I'm like damn this is fucking good exactly or like yeah, yeah, yeah. like even like especially so like the other day I made I made broccoli pie like a recipe that I got from one of my friends I haven't mm. had it in years and like the the night that I ate it whenever it was fresh. I was a little underwhelmed. I was like, man, this isn't like as good as I remember it being. Mm-hmm. But you know how some food kind of like matures into its flavor exactly. after yes. after you've yeah, let it yeah, sit yeah. for a day. So you heated it back up. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, damn, this is banging the yeah. day after, dude. Yeah. No, it's like that's some, all. some foods are just better as leftovers. Mm-hmm. That is totally soups, in my opinion. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm from Louisiana. Yeah, but gumbo, yeah. gumbo matures in the mm-hmm. fridge overnight. Yeah. No, after really, a couple really days. Does. You know? Even if you uh, like crush it and when you're making it and eat it fresh or whatever the day of. Um, but the next, yeah, the next day, leftovers are like just the, even better. Those flavors yeah. just like really saturate. Uh, and no, I, I, the, the only word I can, yeah, mature is like the only, the only word I can come up with for mm. it. But like, honestly, like even just like, it doesn't have to be a fucking woman. Like, dude, right now I'm kind of excited. Uh, you know, like this, this yeah. conversation is kind of exciting me. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's, that's what, good, man. Like, I think uh, it's like, I'm trying to think what else, what else? Like, I'm just I, trying to I, change the fucking story, bro. No, 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 <laughs> like, no. Shit. Uh, I was, uh, it's, it's going to sound funny, but like, when I was younger, um, I always thought, you know, well, how do I say this correctly? You think you're invincible, right? And, oh, I am, bro. And see, I love that. See, I, uh, but my, you know, yeah, we, yeah. We, we, we would have to delve like really deep into the rabbit hole yeah. about what I mean when I say I, you know, but anyway, yeah. continue. Uh, no, well, <laughs> my, I mean, my, I always say I can't die, you know, and I, I'm well aware, uh, the older I get, I'm well aware that I can die. Um, but one thing that did give me excitement when I was younger, uh, cliff jumping, you know, for, for example, like what the fuck do you, yeah. why don't you, you, what are you like 27? I am 27. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you nailed I'm, it. I'm good. No, I do that yeah, so that was, often. <laughs> I do that so often. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, good at the age game, bro. Yeah, no, I am 27. Uh, yeah. But dude, but, goddamn, fucking talk to me when I'm fucking 16, 15, invincible. You know, like, uh, I'm scared now. I, uh, as soon as you get hurt a little bit, you're like, oh, fuck. Take a little bit longer to heal, you know, whatever. Um, he's like that. Uh, but yes, cliff jumping is amazing. Um, 
I think even just hanging off of like really high heights, like kind of like that stupid thing that you see on YouTube or whatever, where they're like fucking planking on a on a skyscraper. Exactly. Build, right? Yeah, no. I do. I literally. <laughs> do you remember I, the fucking planking fad? That, I do remember that, that. That hit the yeah. internet, bro. I was like, yeah. "What are you guys doing?" I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I. I think probably one of the dumbest things I did was uh, scale does like a you know. When there's construction, you like scaffold up, like yeah, oh, yeah, and there's like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, all those things, um, for no goddamn reason. Like, uh, I wasn't filming. I was alone. Uh, you were alone. I wasn't. I wasn't even trying to impress anyone. You know, didn't film yeah, it. Didn't try yeah, to tell yeah, anyone. Yeah. But I was like, I kind of just saw it was like a new construction site next to my apartment. And I was like, I bet I can climb that. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, that's literally what I said. And I did. Um, and I don't know why I did it on the day of. It was fucking raining. And these, like, they're like, literally, I'm like, it's just monkey bars, but pretty thick. So, like, I had to put my, you know, kind of like, like that. Yeah, yeah, claw it. So, which is a little bit scarier than just because you don't have yeah, that full, the full grip. Yeah. Um, Especially if it's wet, man. And it was wet. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I did that shit. Showing on Fear Factor, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Hey, that's funny. Yeah, no. Uh, growing up, I watched that shit all the time. Yeah, there's a whole Fear Factor channel now. There's a, like 24-7. They're just always playing Fear Factor. Uh, really? Uh-huh. I got to go uh, back. I bet it's the dumbest show. Um, but Some of it's, some of it's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's, it's the same exact show you remember it being. Just yeah. like you're way less impressed as an adult. You're just like, oh, I could do this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Dude. when I was a kid, I was like, oh my God, like this is wild. But no, nah, now yeah. it's like, oh, this is a, the same shit, bro. Like, I just remember watching it when they turned from like basically just a set of like uh, couples and stuff like that, just to all female contestants. And they're all bad as hell. Like at least me being like, 11, 13 years old 11 12 yeah being like oh in, in, the, in the fucking bikinis. the height the height yeah. of puberty <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah fuck yeah that was that was the era like i used to fall asleep with a uh, cartoon network on i'd wake up at 3 a.m and the fucking girls gone wild exactly and, and commercials were on bro. yeah 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 the that fucking was, girls that actually, gone wild and extends extends it bro. was the first the fucking thing or viagra yeah it's like, um it's like what what do you think? What do you think men with erectile dysfunction are up at 3 a.m. watching your infomercial? Yeah, I have no like, idea. That's so funny you said that because that's my first little glimpse of, I guess, pornography. Uh, Would have been Girls Gone Wild. And the reason I woke up is because I just got, I might have been eight years old. Like, oh, I just got a fish. And so it was in like, uh, in our like kitchen slash living room situ- situation. And I was so proud that I finally got a pet, like a fish. And I woke up in the middle of the goddamn night to go, to <laughs> go, to go, to go, to go look at the fish and the TV was still on and girls going wild. And I said, fuck the fish. <laughs> like, I said, what is and this? Was, yeah, exactly. I'm like, yeah. oh my God, I am hooked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah. No pun intended. Yeah, that was fish. good. That was yeah. good. Yeah. Fish hook. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even on purpose, yeah. bro. No, that was good. <laughs> yeah, no, that was. I remember that. And I kept like <laughs> trying to sneak out. And I think that maybe, um, I don't know if you remember like the black box or whatever you have to get other channels. I grew uh, up in uh, California. We, so we had, know. we had Cox cable where I came from. So and we yeah. had, we had like a cable box. It was like satellite. I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah we, I think we all had something similar ish. Maybe and, a TiVo box that you guys had or something like that. Or like, nah, it was like, you literally, if you didn't buy their little shitty box back in the day or whatever, it was like probably almost two thousand. It was probably two thousand and two. Yeah. Um. Probably yeah, two thousand two. Uh, if you didn't buy it, then you literally just get PBS. You know, sounds about right. Sounds about right. And then yeah. you get like maybe one news channel, <laughs> and that that was it. Um. Uh, so I think uh, I, I guess I went to go try to see more girls going wild when I was young. <laughs> it was right around that time that I think they switched it over. That I was just like, no, man. There's yeah, infomercial, in- infomercials uh, the whole time. So yeah, what a what, what a crazy, 
crazy time. I never actually saw any of those. Yeah, you know, just like the commercials. Oh yeah, TV no, I never saw them either. Just the ads for yeah. it. At this point, like, bye, I'm almost you? tempted. No, we're talking about it. I'm like, I might just go and fucking and try like to, try to find yeah, it. Yeah, try to find a fucking uncensored version, just because. It's just like, gonna, man, that's yeah, like an unresolved, yeah, unresolved yeah. need from my childhood, yeah, bro, yeah. to know what was behind yeah, those fucking censor blocks. Literally, yeah. It's yeah. like, what were they actually doing on Girls Gone Wild TV? Yeah. <laughs> that is fucking. I guess they were just. Flashing. I wonder now. They I've got a, flashing tits yeah, the whole time. Right? Now I've got a. What I I imagine. I don't. I, I don't think there was any sex. I have I no idea. I don't. Know I have either. no idea, bro. I don't know either. Like, like who does know? You know, like I, I yeah. wonder. I wonder if you go and like do a survey of like how many millennial men now actually like actually saw those infomercials and never, never actually I like, saw ninety percent. Dude, yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably. like probably most of them I never actually consumed, like knew what was going on there. Yeah, but no, I don't, I don't was, think it was legit porn. Yeah, I, I, from all I saw in the like commercials or whatever the fuck, it was literally just a girl would just flash and then censor, like you said, like just censor the whole time. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to go home and watch UFC. Oh, no, I'm gonna do it. Man. Um, there went our innocence. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Just like that. It was that easy. Just going yeah, to check on the yeah, fish, bro. Yeah. Just, just, just going yeah. to check on the fish. And now, now all I want to see is titties. Yeah. That was a, that's a true story, by the way. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. But why would I, why would I question yeah. that? Why yeah. would I quit? Like, you know, who, who could even make that up? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking some eight year old wants to see his fish. Jeez, <laughs> bro. Just. I mean, yeah, the, the astounding thing is that yeah. you you remember it that that vividly is like I got yeah. sidetracked and never got back on course. Exactly. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't even remember that fish's name. I don't know. <laughs> this dude forgot the name. He <laughs> was like, "Wait, we yeah. have a fish." Yeah. Wait, I I've I am uh I'm into, I'm into girls now. Yeah. Actually, yeah. actually, matter of factly, um, I like girls now. Yeah, Fuck yeah. the fish. <laughs> it was. Fucking yeah, it is kind of funny story, I guess. Oh God my damn. goodness, jeez, I must have seen, I must have seen those infomercials for Girls Gone Wild like I don't know a few hundred times at least, because like they they were on for years, you know, at, yeah, this, at the I same at the same time yeah. every fucking weekday morning at like three a.m. right before like like old school Transformers came on. <laughs> I remember Ninja Turtles, like that or Zoids. The Zoids was like super early in the morning too, so a cartoon network. Oh, see, no, I didn't have, I didn't, I didn't have the cable. <laughs> good Man. shit, good shit. Man, I wonder, I wonder what, uh, what kids nowadays are waking up to at three in the morning. Probably, probably no TV on, but like they have their cell phones right there. Well, they can so do they just, whatever they. Yeah, no, I yeah, think, yeah, they can literally. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, it's just actually. Like they, oh my god, if you give me that much power. As a fucking as a kid, dude, I no, couldn't dude, imagine, bro. Yeah. Like the the shit I would be hooked on now yeah. if I had had the internet then. Yeah, you know what insane. I mean. Like if Pornhub was a thing then. Yeah. Like there are no fucking safeguards on that shit. No, yeah, there are no go, safeguards on yeah. it. Like anyone can just like, yeah, I'm, I'm eighteen. Yep, yeah. yep, I'm eighteen. Yep, let exactly. me in. We're like yeah. oh, what? Just. Like, incognito fucking boom the whole, the whole time in there. yeah you don't even have yeah. to dude if you have a cell phone like yeah, you honestly don't have unless to, yeah. your parents are like hardcore monitoring it which i think a lot of parents are slacking on actually yeah, like like probably. helping their kids build discipline oh, around there we take a left uh here. yeah i can do that and then i was just gonna run in the liquor store uh yes yeah, that's, that's fine it's like and then oh. literally then it's a straight shot yeah, but it's just like it's crazy, like how vigilant. I don't have kids, but just like e even the idea of like how vigilant you have to be nowadays to make sure that your kids aren't exposed yeah. to all of these things. I mean, okay, just like for instance, like we were we, we were seeing those girls going wild infomercials like at yeah. three in the morning, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids nowadays can just like wake up and grab a cell phone and just, just do whatever. whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever, you know. And what it's re like what really needs to be important though is like the parents need to like, in a sense, I was never allowed to swear until I was probably, I don't know. You're gonna have to help me out with where the liquor oh, store yeah, yeah. is. It's right there. Is it in right. this parking lot yeah, on the yeah. right? 
And then it's a straight shot to my to my place. Oh wait, okay. th- this is the wrong way, but you can still go. It's going. Oh, uh, unless you don't want to. Sorry, it's really fine. Yeah. sorry guys. Yeah, breaking the law. Breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs> a rebel. <laughs> And then, uh... So my dick just got over there. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking anarchy, bro. <laughs> Welcome to Aurora, man. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, this is wow. getting a bit of a fun ride, goddamn. I mean, why? Yeah, yeah. Sounds I'm like, funny. I'm really, I'm tempted to to put this on my podcast, bro. Yeah, yeah you got a podcast? I'll fucking yeah, listen. Yeah, it's, it's, this is not the normal flavor of ride that goes on there, yeah, but just, fuck it. I'm, yeah, yeah. It's just conversations with my passengers. Oh, right. that's well, f- dude. Yes, uh, you have my permission if you're yeah, recording. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, I always ask permission. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's no, the whole. That's the whole that's gimmick perfect. of it. Uh, are you cool if I just slide? Yeah, no, yeah, these, no worries. These parking spots yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. be right back. Yeah, I'll just be hanging out right here, bro. Two seconds. Gotcha. All right, bro. Uh, thank you. And then uh, you. you were saying just like straight. Oh out, yeah, no. If you just go like uh that, that way up, over there, yeah, and yeah, then it's okay. like a straight shot got three books and maybe a box of wine i don't know if you drink a box of, i i do not drink really well, uh i appreciate it <laughs> yeah no worries. thanks bro yeah fucking um no but back back to what i was saying about like not getting excited for things you know i think it's like there's a lot that goes into that but i feel like like okay so for instance just like conversations like this, where it's just like a fucking vibe and we're just like chilling and broing out. And it doesn't have to be a bro, you know, like sometimes mm-hmm. I just have like just kicking in and have cool conversations with chicks too or whatever, like mm-hmm. couples, it doesn't matter. But like, it's this weird thing where like, I know from my experience, generally when I'm working, I have a great time at work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, generally, yeah, yeah. I have a great time at work. Do you know how often I'm looking forward to going to work? Almost never. And I don't know that why. That is actually interesting. I, I don't know that, why. Because yeah. it's, it's got to be something to do with the story I tell myself about the work that I'm doing. Because, like, in, in reality, whenever I look at the work, like, I can I can be proud about the way that I show up in my work. But, mm-hmm. like, I'm not proud to call myself an Uber driver. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I guess it's, like, it's this weird, uh, not not necessarily conflicts of, of interest, but, like, there's a, there's a dichotomy to it, you know? where where it's just like there's this dualism where like i actually enjoy the work and like a lot of elements of the work do excite me in the moment that i'm doing them but like i would say it's like every well at least in my personal experience with my you know work history and stuff like that i feel the same way you're like fuck this job's dumb fuck this is not like i don't want to i don't want to be there and then as soon as you go in there then you have coworkers or you're people that you're talking to and you're just like yeah. oh shit i gotta all right you're trying to kick me out i was trying to milk the clock you know kind of a thing you know um it's it's it's, it's, it's weird true bro. it's weird it's, it's just it, it's gotta be by nature of the story i tell myself about what my life is and like what i'm doing with my life and like the the self-judgment that comes from you know me looking at myself as an Uber driver and like how I cross reference that with like what my own idea of success is, or maybe what mm-hmm. has been impressed upon me by culture and society, yeah. what represents success. But like, dude, I go to work. I enjoy like 95% of my time at work. Like really fucking enjoy it. And it's like, it is exciting in a lot of ways. And like, I'm making a podcast. I'm really like milking this for everything it's worth, you know? And it's like, why can't I be satisfied with that enough to be excited to go to work? Do you do you, you think know? the the biggest part of that is um, other than the way you view yourself? You're like fuck it, I love it. You know, I I or maybe not love it, but you still enjoy doing it. Do you think the biggest problem is that if you went to a dinner with family or friends, that you would be like ah? Yeah, like I can't, I can't show up. I can't like show up in those types of groups and like feel like you'd be judged. 
well, I know for a fact I would be, right? Exactly. And that's because yeah. I, I grew up with my family. You know what I mean? But I, trust me. It's, um, it's the weirdest uh, I, thing. I'm though, a server, man. How fucking yeah, and, ingrained, yeah, ingrained like, those cultural axioms, I suppose, about like what's meaningful and what's valuable and what success is, how that influences my mindset on a day to day basis. I would say the hardest, the hardest part probably is just that wanting to love yourself, but also because you love your family or friends, you want to be accepted. Want to, we want talk, to we feel love. Exactly. Wanting to yeah. feel love and by then, others. Oh yeah. man, that's what I'm, you know. But it's crazy I though. Totally it's like, know what you're talking Cause about. like in the moment of doing this, there is so much love. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? There yeah. is so much love yeah. every day of my life that I do this. But then when I separate myself from the situation, and then like look at the social life I have around me. It's like it's so devoid of that. It's and it's, it's the weirdest thing that like I have that so much more with strangers. And I've talked about this before. Mm -hmm. But the fact that I have this so much more with strangers than with people I would pr preferentially hold in like a socially intimate context in my life. Mm -hmm. It's it's this weird disconnect, man. Yeah, it's this which weird is disconnect. odd because you don't know me, but the people you do know, the people that you do love. It's a little bit like it's harder to have it, it's this like hard, conversation it's, right, with yeah. them rather than a fucking stranger. Right. right. And, and, it, it's like, just, it, and it's weird yeah. how it's like it feels more difficult to substantiate my worth to the people who should see it with the least amount of effort by me. Right. Yeah. The, the people who should see it like from the most basic natural level. Behaviorally. Uh, you know, there seems to be a contradiction there, like like as if they don't see my value. Yeah, you know, and it's it's just this weird thing. It's just weird no, thing, man. I, I and like now, I'm like now, I, I need it. to feel like <laughs> I need to start focusing on how do I? I just need to remind myself, like, hey, most of the fucking work I do actually excites me. Yeah, you yeah, know, um, that, I mean, honestly, that is the most important thing. I think, to yeah. be honest, as long as, as long as you wake up happy. Uh, but I don't like, is the point. I don't is the point. Yeah. Well, you wake up grumpy, then you do it, and then you're happy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I go to sleep happy, yeah. <laughs> and then I wake up fucking grumpy. Yeah. Well, you know? Yeah. God damn. Bro. Um, hey, dude. Yes. It's, it's, been, been, a, it's, it's been, been a it's pleasure. Been a, yes. Yes, Yo, sir. Dude, if you want to if you wanna connect with me, my um, the name of the podcast, yes, is, sir. it's nothing personal. There's the name of the podcast. Got it's on you. Spotify. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me write this down. It's on Spotify. I can just, yeah. let me just connect right it, now. It's nothing personal. It's a uh, podcast. Yeah, I've got like seven episodes. Yeah. Right oh, Mac right Miller is the last person I was listening to. You're like, Mac? <laughs> I've, I've heard a little bit of Mac. I've Mac is great, man. Uh, uh, nothing. It's, it's nothing personal. Per, it's nothing personal or yeah. nothing personal? It's nothing personal. It's nothing. It's just a plain white. Is this it? Mason? That's it. Yeah. That's it, yeah, bro. Yeah, follow. Yeah, I'm working on trying All to get right. someone to help me well, with new shit. cover art right now. Bro. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. that's great. Uh, hopefully this, this goes on there. Yeah, it will. It will. I, I put every single episode that I ask, I put up there. Yeah, I'm going to laugh yeah. my ass off. Um, anyway, yeah. yo. Dude, pleasure Mason's a you. fucking beast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fuck yeah, bro. You have a great, great meeting you tonight. Great meeting Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Take it easy, brother. You too.